Okay, another update on UDR. Uh, I got some of these uh, metal, uh, or aluminum, whatever, brake disc. Because I did research on this one. I bought it all the weak points, and they say those break because it's like the little tire hub, whatever you fucking call it, and brake disc made together. But I didn't use the uh, brake pads that come with because they're metal also, and I'm afraid that little pebble get wedged up in there and fucks your stuff up. But the upper control links, I got them in too today. Right down there. These are, see that I hold the, oh, that's loud. See that I hold a stock one next to it on there. It just looks like a little, so skinny, a little toothpick. Let me turn it over. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, there's the ones I just put in. And that is the factory. Well, let me get with the battery box. I can't get out of here. There's the factory one. Next to it. Yeah. It's like double the size. So, yeah, I shouldn't have to worry about that. Bending or whatever. I know these bend all the time. Every video I watch, they bend them. Now they're nice thick ones. And of course you gotta pull the body off. Oops, I dropped it. You gotta pull the body off, get this back bolt down in there. But you gotta take these panels off on each side, this three little screws here, two millimeter. I always just pry that out of the way and get to that one. Yeah, now that's super, super strong. Of course I got the bit of aluminum, lower retro arms. Now I got the uh, metal aluminum disc, but yeah, he's right there. I kept the plastic brake calipers. I didn't want to put, metal, put the metal one in there. I was afraid a piece of pebble would get stuck in there. I got a little fucking, yeah, that's gonna be fun to rip off later, ain't it? But yeah, afraid a little pebble or something gets stuck in there and screws stuff up, but something gets caught in there, it'll shred that plastic up, no big deal. So got that. Upper control links, lower control arms. I got the Traxxas, their top of the line servo in there, so 400 something torque, whatever. And what else? Oh, I put some little mud flaps on today, too. Yeah, some little mud flaps, they're pretty cool. Yep. And, oh, 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 see, that keeps breaking. I keep super it back on. Hold it back on there. Oops, I dropped super glue on there, but I tried to detail that as much as I could. Painted the hoses black. Got the chrome marker on the little tie downs. And I actually put a little needle on the gauge. So, I have not driven this yet. I only put a battery in it to center the servo when I upgrade. Oh, I got some Vitavon, uh, I forgot how you say it, uh, bead lock wheels, some aluminum wheels coming in. Jesus Christ, it was expensive. That was like three hundred something dollars for a set of four, and plus the tires. I can't remember what tire I bought. The tires recommended for it. Just type in UDR tires and they pull it up. Yeah, so it's gonna be a mean machine. Yet to uh, drive it yet, but yeah. There's my little last plate made for it. Yeah, what do you think about that? Pretty cool. You know, do it for the Japanese bitches. I mean, shit, drop phone again. Got these slippery fingers. But yeah, I'll keep you updated. So, see y'all later, motherfuckers.